side quest day my springs on my garage door broke how to fix them step one determine they're broken pretty sure that means it's broken fixed but can't support door not working the next step we need to do is we need to measure our stuff to make sure we're getting and ordering the correct thing some of them have markings like this but it's always best to go in and measure because you never know so for this one, we measure the internal diameter of the spring. So that's across there, mine's two inches. And then the other thing you need to do is you need to measure from the end of a coil out 10 inches, count the number of coils, and then divide 10 by the number of coils you just counted. That should give you, oh, and then the other piece of information that you need is you need to measure the entire length of your coil. And with the internal diameter, your wire gauge or diameter, and your total length, those are the three measurements that you need to go order them. Now go order those before you do anything else. Make sure you get the winding, the winding bars while you do it. I already ordered mine. So I'm gonna our instructions. Put a winding bar in there. Put your other winding bar there. Hold on. Before you start unwinding, make sure you put a vice grip right there. Uh so the door, when you're going to tighten it after you put everything in, doesn't guillotine you. I'm not going to say I've done that before. And this, I am going to throw you over there. There it goes. Everything free and no more tension. Very carefully move this. Because if this falls out, the whole thing will fall. So move that all the way down. You move that one all the way down. And we're going to come over here. And you're going to do this. And you're going to very carefully make sure that it doesn't fall out of that. And we take everything off. Something that probably confuses people, the r black one goes on the right. The red one goes on the left. And this is when you're looking on the inside. The part that's confusing is this going on the right is a left wound spring. This going on the... <laughs> left is a right wound spring. So just know that they're opposite. And if you have dyslexia, know that they're opposite of your opposite. Now we're gonna throw all the stuff back on. Uh, I haven't taken off that part, but you do it one at a time. So take off spring, take off all crap, put spring back on, put all crap back on. And I'll show you how to do the cable stuff. Before I show you that, when you're tightening everything down, tighten the springs to that bracket and then move on to these guys, the uh, the wheels on the ends. Uh, make the bus go round. So to this guy, you hook it in like that, so underneath, put it into its starting guide, and then pull it tight, making sure that it's in. Tight as you can, and then you tighten them. The other side is done exactly the same. The only addition is you want to make sure you tension this and that at the same time because that forces this one and this one to be pulling up on the door at the same spot. To calculate the number of rotations, for every foot the door is tall, add one rotation. And then for every spring, add one quarter rotation. This one having a seven foot door with two springs makes it seven and a half rotations. Make sure you get everything tight before you actually do anything else. 
for mine, I ended up having to do uh, an extra quarter turn to get the door to stay level. But another good uh, indicator that you did it correctly is you should be able to very easily raise your garage door. Because remember, that's got to do all the work. <sighs> I'm going to go take a nap. God, it's hot.